Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option channel for UPS examination. In today's video, we are going to see the reproduction in mangroves. As you know, in a previous lecture, we have studied the general characteristics of mangroves. In this particular video lecture, we are only focusing on the reproduction in mangroves. Before starting the video, I will request you to join the telegram channel of the same name that is the Botany Option for UPS examination on the telegram platform. The link of this channel is given in the description box. You can click on that link and straight away go to the channel. All right. So let's check out the reproduction in mangroves. Now, when we talk about the reproduction in mangroves, we have certain distinguishing point from rest of the angiosperms because in general, what happen in angiosperms is that the fruit matures on the parent plant. After the fruit maturation, this fruit falls off on the ground. And after falling off on the ground, this fruit is eaten by the various animals or it may get decomposed. And after a certain period of time, the seeds were exposed. Now, after these seeds get the favorable conditions, these seeds start to germinate and this germination give rise to the new plant. So, this is a typical sequence which are occurring in the angiosperms. Now, mangroves are also the angiosperms but they shows the very different kind of new plant development. Now what happened in a mangroves when the fruit matures, it does not fall off on the ground. All these circles are showing the fruit of an mangroves. When these fruits are fully mature, they did not fall off on the ground, but they remain on the parent plant. All right. You can see here, these are the fruits which are on their parent plant. Now, after a certain period of time, through this fruit, from inside the seeds, from the embryo, the propagule starts to develop. You can see these are all the elongated propagules which are germinating from the embryo of the seed, which is present inside the fruit. And you should carefully remember that these fruits are still on the parent plants. They do not fall on the ground and the propagules start developing from the embryo from embryo of the seeds so these propagules develop while the fruit is still on the plant so in mangroves what happen fruit matures but it all uh, remain only on the parent plant and it starts to develop the propagules now these propagules are elongated structure which are present on the parent plant itself so this is quite different from the angiosperm where the fruit matures, then it falls on ground, then from the seeds, which germinate into the new plant. But this does not occur in the mangroves as mature fruits remains on the parent plants. While remaining on the parent plants, these fruits develop the propagules. All right. Now consider the structure of this propagule. This propagule is developed from this fruit. The mangroves generally have this cup-shaped fruit. From this cup-shaped fruit, which is present on the parent plant, this propagule starts to develop. As you can see, these here are the branches and here comes the radical. Now, these propagules are generally 0.5 to 15 centimeter in length. This growth they achieve on their parent plant, while in some cases they are cigar shape or sometimes they are bean shape as well. This will depend on which type of mangrove species we are talking about, all right? So these propagules generally have the length of 0.5 to 15 centimeter, and they have generally the shape of cigar or bean. Now the time period required by the propagule to fall off from the parent plant, that is in how much time the propagule falls from the parent plant onto the ground. Generally, it varies from species to species in mangroves, in red mangroves, this period is of 40 days. In black mangroves, this period is of 15 days. And in white mangroves, this period is of 5 days. So the mangrove species of red mangrove species, the propagule will remain 40 days on the parent plant. If the species is from the black mangroves, the propagule will remain for 15 days on the parent plant. And if the species belongs to the white mangroves, 
the propagule will remain on plant for the five days. Within all these days, the propagules develop itself and then fall off from the parent plant into the ground. And as we have discussed in the previous lecture, all the mangroves grows near the plant bodies. So there are 99% chances that this propagule will fall into the water bodies. All right. Then after falling into the water bodies, as you can see in this picture, all these propagules are fall into the water bodies. Now they are in a standing position. They do not start germinating as soon as they fall from the parent plant, but they have the their standing period. Now when this propagule falls off from the parent plant, it may, may remain standing or sometimes they may be horizontal. All right. But standing or horizontal, they have their period of standing or say period of dormancy, right? So in a red mangroves, this, this period, this standing period is of 15 days. And in black mangroves, this period of standing is of seven days. And for white mangroves, this period is of five days, all right? These are propagules which fall off from the parent plant remain dormant for 15 days in case of red mangroves in case of black mangroves they remain dormant for seven days and in case of white mangroves they remain standing for 15 days all right so this is a typical standing period required for the all the different types of mangrove species now after remaining for a certain period of time in a standing position the growth of these propagules takes place as you can see in this picture all these propagules which have standing position are starting to growing you can see here the new leaflets are coming out and below the ground they have a network of the roots so the growth of new plants takes place after the standing period and all the propagules start to germinate and in this way the whole new plant generation of the mangrove plants start to flourish in an forest area now the very important point you have to remember here that the reproduction in mangroves is having similarity with the mammals reproduction because was what happened in animal group of mammals that for a certain period of time there is a certain period where the newborns are taken care by the parents in a very similar way the newborn is cared by the parent plant in mangroves as well so you will find the similarity between the mangroves and the mammals for nourishing their newborns all right this type of reproduction in mangroves is popularly called as the viviporous reproduction all right so this type of reproduction in mangroves is called the viviporous reproduction in which the propagule develops on the parent plant and after falling into the water bodies they remain standing for some period of time and after some period and after they get the favorable condition from the environment they start germinating into the new plant having new leaves and new new roots all right this is how the mangrove reproduces itself the very important point about the mangrove reproduction you have to remember is that it's an viviparous type of reproduction then propagules where it develop on plant itself then they have their dispersal period depend on the different species of mangroves and after falling off on the ground they have different standing period as well after the dispersal period and standing period they start germinating and grow into the whole new mangrove plant all right so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and please subscribe to the botany option channel for UPS examination and if you have any doubt regarding the regarding this lecture please make comment in a comment box again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one